Hey there. Well, this is a, a game that you probably weren't expecting to see. The Tigers the, at the Athletics, and uh, both Detroit and Philadelphia are within uh, reach of first place here in the American League. And um, if Philadelphia wins this, we're going to see a lot more of these two teams, I think, in the near future. You've got the Yankees, you got the Red Sox, the Indians, and the Tigers and the Athletics here, and we're in late May. All five of those teams are within striking ground of first place in the American League. Here is uh, Carl Scheib starting this one off for the Athletics against uh, Hoot Evers, and uh, Evers fouls the first pitch off. Owen won the count. I've been wondering about these Athletics as Evers hits the fly ball to Valo in left field for the first out. I've been wondering about the 49 Athletics and whether they would start playing over their heads because of all those double plays and the fielding that they have. There's a foul ball. Owen won the count now on Paul Campbell. Owen 2, Paul hitting 331. We'll see what happens. We'll see if Diamond Mine in the end kind of overrates them a little bit or not. Ground ball over to Nellie Fox. Throws to first for the out, two away. And it's uh, Vic Bortz up there now. Takes a ball high. 1-0 and is the count on him. And uh, the next pitch to Wirtz is off speed, also high, 2-0 and the count. Wirtz having a pretty good year so far. Um, 328, 385 on base percentage, the 410 slugging percentage. And he takes ball 3-3 three, three and the count. And he's taking ball four all the way and goes over to first base. That'll bring up Bob Swift with the runner on at first. It's one on the left field line. That one falls just foul. 0-1 oh, is the count now on Bob. That one misses outside. It's 1-1 one one on Swift. And that's hit over to right center field. It's going to be Moss, Moses, sorry, the uh, right fielder who catches that for the out. And we go to the bottom of the first. And here come the athletics. Art Hutaman is the uh, pitcher for the Tigers, his first start of the season. And uh, he's up against Eddie Juiced, and it's a 2-0 count on Juiced quickly. 3-0 is that was low. And there's ball four. And Hudeman, um in his first start of the season, is not starting all that well. That'll bring up uh, Elmer Vallo looking over at Hudeman quickly. And you can see he has problems with left-handed batters, which is going to be a problem today. Um, and there's a little chopper from uh, Vallo over to Leip on the shortstop, flips to Barry for one, and then throws to Campbell at first for the double play. Just like that, there are two away. Here is Hank Majeski. The Athletics are supposed to be getting those double plays on defense. One and one the count now on Majeski. And he goes around to that one. It's one and two on him. Sinker is just low, two and two now the count. And that's a low and away for ball three. Full count on Majeski. And uh, that's hit into uh, the, the over the first base line and gets past Campbell into right field. Wirtz has to run over and grab it. And Majeski ends up on at second base with the double. First hit of the game. And uh, here comes Wally Moses with the runner on at second. And that's hit over to right field. And, uh, man, Wirtz goes back on that one all the way back to the wall and uh, snags that line drive before it does damage. We go to the top of the second. And it's Johnny Groth leading this off for the Tigers. Swing and a miss by Groth. Owen won the count. And there's a little pop-up foul just out of play. 0-2 is that can't be reached. 0-2 is still on Groth. A little ground ball over to Nelly Fox at second. He makes the play and throws to first for the out. One away. Johnny Lipon up there now. Takes the ball. 1-0 oh the count. There's a fastball high. 2-0 oh the count. And that's on the inside corner for a strike. It's 2-1 and one on Johnny. Changeup is on the inside corner for a strike. It's 2-2. Two and two. And that's well inside. Full count now on Johnny. And Scheib ends up missing with that one, and that's going to be a walk. Second walk given up by Carl, and here comes George Kell. You're wondering why George Kell is hitting where he is. He's only hitting 265, and he promptly hits a ground ball over to Nelly Fox, who throws the first for the out. That does move Lipon up. Fox unable to make a double play. Kell is hitting low in the order because he's not getting on base. He's not slugging. He's not doing anything. He was the... Uh, yeah, American League's leading hitter in real life in 1949, not having a good replay so far. Barry now with a 1-1 count on him. It's a ground ball over to uh, Eddie Juice, who throws the first for the out. We go to the bottom of the second, still no score. Ferris Fane comes up there and uh, takes a ball, and then another one high. Two, no the count now on Fane. There's a strike. It's a good, uh, good, uh, uh, what do they say, frame job by Swift. There's another strike in there on Fane. Two and two the count. That's fouled away, remains two and two, and there's a slider low, full count now on Ferris, and that one just misses, and so he'll go to first with the leadoff walk, and that'll bring up Sam Chapman with the runner on at first, and let's see if we can make something happen. Fain, uh, we're trying to do something with him, and uh, there's a ball in there to Chapman, one and oh the count, and uh, there's a strike to Chapman, we'll see if we can do a little hit and run. And there's a ground ball right over the bag of third base, exactly what you wanted to do. And Fain rounds third, and he goes home, and he ends up miss, ends up uh, beating the play by uh, Evers, and that makes this a one nothing game for the Athletics. And that'll bring up Nelly Fox now, runner on at second base, one nothing Athletics here in the early going, uh, bottom of the second inning. Fox takes the ball and then hits one over to uh, right field, and Wirtz has that for the out. Chapman looked like he wanted to go to third, and then thought better of it. Wirtz has a good arm, two away, and here is Mike Guerra. Watches a curveball wide, 1-0 the count. Swings and misses at 1 is 1-1. A little swing, foul ball, 1-2 now the count. It's fouled away, still 1-2. And, 
and that pitch inside misses. Two and two is the count now in Guerra, and that's a ground ball up the middle, and that will score the runner, make it two nothing for Philadelphia. That'll bring up Carl Shive. So the Athletics have come alive here in the bottom of the second, have a two nothing lead. One and one now the count on uh, the pitcher Shive, and there's a strike on the inside corner. One and two, and throw to first base. We're not going to do anything here with Guerrero, I think. Not with two strikes. Two and two now the count on Shive. And there's a little looper over Campbell's head, and that's um, into uh, the right field corner again. Campbell having a hard time with those balls that are hit uh, right around his position, and that puts runners on at first and third as Carl Scheib, the pitcher, ends up getting the base hit. And that brings up Betty Juice, who, who uh, walked uh, last time up, and he hits one straight to dead center field, and that's deep enough to score the runner as Groth catches it. 3 nothing now, Athletics. Here comes Elmer Vallo, and he hits that one to right center field. Man, a lot of first pitch swinging here, and we're going to send Scheib, the pitcher, putting on the afterburners, and he is safe at the plate after that double by Vallo to right center field. That'll bring up Hank Majeski, and it's 4 nothing now, Athletics, and this game's starting to get out of control early. There's a ball in there to Majeski, 1-0 the count. Swinging and a miss on that sinker, 1-1 one one now the count on Majeski, and there's a breaking ball just uh, diving under his bat, 1-2 and two the count. Sinker's inside, 2-2, two and two, and that's foul back, still 2-2 two and two on Majeski. It's a fly ball right to Wurtz in right field, and we go to the top of the third inning. It's going to be the pitcher, Art Hooteman, up there, and he takes the strike. Go and win the count. Another fastball in there for a strike. It's 0-2. That one's fouled uh, to the left side. 0-2 it remains. Fly ball over to Chapman in the center field. He has it for the out, one away, and here is uh, Hoot Evers. So I thought that the Athletics were going to have an advantage with all those left-handed um, hitters when I saw what Hooteman is like against left-handed batters. Evers hits a fly ball over to Moses in right field, who has it for the out, two away, and it's uh, Paul Campbell up there now. Um, now, doing those kind of splits is not always something that I agree with, but uh, we can talk about that another time. Two and one is the count now on Paul Campbell. Fastball's inside, three and one the count. That's fouled into Guerra's glove. Full count now on Campbell. That's another foul ball. The count remains full. That's hammered up the middle. That's going to be a base hit for Campbell. So that's the first hit of the game for the Tigers, and here comes Vic Words. Wirtz is hoping to do something here to uh, pull the Tigers back in this game. He swings and hits one over to Groth in center field, who catches it for the out. We go to the bottom of the third. It's Wally Moses up there who takes a ball, and then another ball, 2-0 oh the count now on Wally. That's off the outside corner, 3-0 and oh is now the count on Moses. He takes a strike, 3-1 and one the count, and that's hit over to Barry at second base. He throws the first for the out, one away. Here comes Ferris Fain, who uh, had as one run scored after walking earlier. One and two quickly is the count on Fain as he fouled that one off. A little pop-up and foul ground just out of play. One and two, the count remains. And there's another foul ball, still one and two. And that's lined over there to uh, Barry, who knocks it down and throws the first for the out. Two away. Here's uh, Sam Chapman. One for one today with that double last time. Takes the ball low and then hits one over to uh, second base. Barry has that one as well, throws the first for the out. And we're going to the top of the fourth. Bob Swift up there for the Tigers will take a strike and then a ball. 1-1 the count now on Swift. A little foul ball. 1-2 now the count. And there's a curveball that misses. It's 2-2. Two and two. And uh, there is a uh, check swing on that ball that's outside. And Swift uh, is adjudicated to have swung. And down he goes. There's one away. And here is Johnny Ross still top of the fourth. 4 nothing uh, Athletics. Ross takes a ball. And then another ball outside. 2-0 and is the count. And there's a strike at the knees, fastball, two and one the count. There's a little ground ball over to Majeski, and that eats him up, goes through him, and that's going to be a base hit for Groth. So something happening for the Tigers here with their second hit. Top of the fourth inning, down 4 nothing. and here's Johnny Lipon. And there's a base hit to left field, and Lipon uh, gets the single. Groth stays at second, which is interesting because he was running off with that pitch, and uh, I guess he didn't want to chance it with uh, that ball being hit right in front of him. And uh, that'll bring up George Kell. Runners on at first and second. The Athletics need one of those double plays. And uh, Kell looks at a ball, though. 1-0 oh the count. And that fastball is on the outside corner. It's 1-1. One and, one. and he swing, he lunges out of there. 2-1 and one the count now on Kell. And that's lined to left center field. That's going to be in there for extra bases. That'll score one. Lipon's hold, held at third. Kell with a double. And that makes it a 4-1 to one ball game. And George Kell needs a little bit more of that if he's going to move up in this lineup. Neil Barry up there uh, now, and he has a 1-1 one, one count on him quickly. It's hit over straight to center field. Chapman has that for the out. That will score Lipon. Kell moves over to third, and there's no throw. 4-2 to two is a score. It's so deep out there to center field they could do that. Hodeman, the pitcher up there now, is a 1-1 one one count on him. And there's a strike of the knees. It's 1-2, and two, and he swings and misses. Down he goes, and uh, we go to the bottom of the fourth inning. Nelly Fox is up there. There's a ball to Fox low, 1-0 the count. And uh, that's uh, just barely fouled away. It's 1-1 one one on Nelly. 
It's a breaking ball high, two and one to count, and there's a little ground ball over to second base. Barry grabs it, throws over to first, not in time. They're going to rule that one a hit for Nelly Fox, hit number six of the game for the Athletics, and that brings up Mike Guerra. And uh, what do we do? Do we swing away or we bunt? I think we bunt here. He singled last time. We'll, we'll have him sacrifice this time. Guerra takes a ball. And he squares this time over to uh, the first base side. Campbell has to grab it, flips over to Barry, who's at the bag just in time, and there's one away. Here's Carl Scheib. Carl had a hit last time, and he gets a hit again this time. That's hit over to left field, and we're going to try to score Nelly Fox. And here's the play at the plate, and they got him. Boy, it's a good play by Swift and a very, very good throw. Fox just says nowhere to go, and uh, there's a runner now in first base with two outs here, bottom of the four, still a 4-2, a lead for the Athletics. Eddie Juice um, takes a uh, ball after uh, swinging and missing at one, and uh, another ball, two, and one's the count on him now. Two and two, that slider outside. Two and two, it remains. That's fouled away out of play, it's still two and two. There's one fouled over the left side, out of play. Two and two, and that's hit over to Groth in center field. For the out, we go to the top of the fifth inning. Hoot Evers will start this off for uh, the uh, Tigers, the visitors. And... Uh, <laughs> There's a little bit, as uh, Evers fouls that one off, there's a little bit of uh, creative, I would say, play-by-play uh, -play here where it talks about uh, there's no uh, beer sales allowed at Shy Park, but uh, every now and then um, you can uh, see fans uh, sneaking a, a drink out of something that they brought with them. So uh, how about that? Um, more of that uh, ballpark-specific uh, commentary, which uh, Diamond Mine does so well. Uh, one of those things that uh, you'll miss if you play a different game. <laughs> one and one, the countdown, Evers, because no other game does that. There's a fastball in there, 89 miles an hour. They say one and two, the count, and that one just misses. It's two and two on Evers, and that one misses. Full count now on Hoot Evers, and there's a bouncer over to Majeski at third base. He makes the play and throws the first for the out, one away. Paul Campbell comes up there and takes a ball, and it hits one deep to center field, and uh, Chapman runs back, grabs that for the out, two gone, and here's Vic Words. There's the ball low, 1-0 and the count. That is um, off the plate, 2-0. and Didn't tell me where that second one was. That's inside and low, 3-0 and the count. And there's the fastball in there for a strike to Wurtz. It's 3-1. and one. Guerra fouls that one back, 3-2. and two. And there's a ground ball over to Juice. The shortstop has it, throws to first for the out, and we'll go to the bottom of the fifth inning. Elmer Valo up there, and uh, he hits a ground ball over to Lipon at short, and he grabs it over and throws it to first for the out, one away. And here is Hank Majeski, who hits the first pitch he sees back to Hudemont, throws to first for the out, two gone. Seeing a lot of that first pitch uh, swinging and first pitch hitting. Here's Wally Moses, who takes a ball, and he lines that one into left field for a base hit, and that'll bring up Ferris Fane. Moses, the runner on first. There's a ball in there to Fane, one and oh the count. That's fouled away, one and one. 1-1 one, one to Fane, and that one is low. 2-1 and one's the count on him, and he swings and misses at 1. It's 2-2. Two and two. The ground ball over to Lipon, who uh, shovels that one over to Barry, covering the bag at second. We go to the top of the sixth. So the Athletics had their explosion in the second and haven't done anything since, and it's Bob Swift up here for the Tigers, top of the sixth. Bob has a 1-1 one, one count on him, and he hits a ground ball over to the shortstop, Juice, who makes the play and throws the first for the out, one away. Johnny Groth is up there now, and he takes a strike and then hits one over to the right out of play. 0-2 oh, is the count on Groth. Uh, fastball is low and inside. It's 1-2 and two now on Groth, and that's high. 2-2 two and two the count. There's one hit over to Vallow in left field. Left fielder's got that for the out, two away, and uh, here is uh, Johnny Lipon. Takes a strike. And high fastball for a ball. One and one the count on Johnny. That's inside and low. Two and one is the count now on Johnny. Low and away. It's three and one on him. And that's low again. And Scheib uh, has uh, issued his third walk of the game. He's had a problem with bases on balls. Not quite as acute in this replay as it was in real life. Kell now with a one one count on him. Runner on it first. That's a ground ball over to uh, Fane, the first baseman, who flips that one over to Scheib covering at the bag for the out. And we go to the bottom of the six. Sam Chapman now up there for Philadelphia, and he takes a ball low. Hits a little ground ball over to Barry, the second baseman, who makes the play, throws the first for the out, one away. Nelly Fox now hits that one straight up into center field for a base hit. Hit number nine for the Athletics. Here's Mike Guerra. We had him bun last time. We'll have him swing away this time. Here's a ball to Guerra, one and oh the count. That's a foul ball. It's one and one on him. Uh, two and one is that one missed. There's a slider in there for a strike, two and two the count, and that misses inside full count on Guerra. Little ground ball over to shortstop, and uh, Lipon has it flips to Barry for one. On to Campbell at first for the twin killing, and we go to the top of the seventh. I tell you, the Athletics, I don't think I've had a single double play all day as uh, Barry fouls one off and then hits a line drive over a Deddy Juice, the shortstop who snags it for the out, one away. Art Hudeman up there takes a ball high. 
And there's a little looper over short. And uh, Valo dove for that one. Looked like he was going to grab that one. Little bit of an attempt of a shoestring catch, and it popped loose. And Hootamon, the pitcher, is on with a base hit. And that'll bring up Hoot Evers. Hit number five for the Tigers. And uh, Evers fouls one off for the second strike. 0-2 oh, the count. There's a fastball inside on him. 1-2. and two. And uh, that one was swung on, foul tipped, and Guerrero couldn't cat, couldn't hold on. But the second one was also by him for strike three. Strike on number three for Carl Scheib. And uh, with two away, here is Paul Campbell hitting 331, hitting very well for the Tigers, and he takes a ball. There's a little ground ball wide at first into the hole for a base hit. And uh, with two on now, here comes Vic Words. So the Tigers are showing why they're as good as they are. A little ground ball over to third base to Majeski, and he tries to go um, to first with that one, and it is not in time. And uh, that means that the bases are loaded now for Bob Swift. Swift, uh, 315 average. Not much slugging. 352 is his slugging percentage, but he can get on base and he can walk. And they're going to pinch hit for him. Isn't that interesting? Pinch hitting for the catcher. Aaron Robinson is going to be the hitter. Aaron Robinson, with only a 206 average so far this season and not much power, has a 2 0 count on him. And there's a strike. Two and one now, the count on Robinson. That's fouled away. It's two and two. There's a little drive down the right field line, and that baby is gone. And that is a grand slam home run for Robinson. Oh, man, that changes the complexion of this ballgame completely. I was about to say, you know, we are going to have this muddle where the Athletics and the Tigers are going to be tied, and they'll be within two or and a half games or so. And then Robinson just comes up with this um, monster grand slam home run off of Shive. And I think that really knocks Scheib out of the box. Um, I'm trying to think about it. There's just two outs in the inning. He's leading off the next inning. I think I'll let him in for the next uh, out. But, man, that grand slam just totally changes this game around. 1-1, one one, the count on Groth. That was Robinson, the pinch hitter. I didn't think he was going to do that. 3-1 and one now, the count on Johnny. And there's a little uh, ground ball over to Nelly Fox at uh, second. He makes the play and throws the first for the out. And uh, it's uh, pinch hitter time, as you can see. I've already got that open. I'm uh, acting before I can even think about what I'm doing. Um, and uh, let's see here. Robinson stays in to catch. The uh, backup catcher with the big grand slam for the Tigers. And Taffy right now, the pinch hitter, hits a home run to make this a one-run ball game here in the bottom of the seventh. Don't go home yet, folks. Uh, you'd never know what's going to happen. And uh, Taffy Wright just completely do uh, demolished that ball, hit that one deep to right field and gone. And uh, we're seeing all sorts of interesting things happen here in this game. Uh, here's Eddie Juiced. Eddie Juiced uh, takes the ball, 1-0 oh, the count now on Eddie. And that's fouled back. 1-1 one and one is the count on him. Swing and a miss of that breaking ball. It's a 1-2 and two count. That's way inside, 2-2 two and two now on Eddie. That uh, breaking ball is low, full count now on him. And there's the fastball with the sink. And Juice uh, can't uh, stop himself from swinging at that one. And uh, that's the first out, one away. Here's Elmer Valo, and he has that one pass Lipon into center field for a base hit. That was, by the way, the first strikeout for Art Hudeman, and um, he's, they promptly tee off of him the next pitch. Notice how many times the Athletics are swinging at the first pitch. There's a ball in there to Majeski. He didn't try to hit that one. And a strike, one and one. Of course, I say it. Now they won't do it. One and one, the count remains. And that's hit to left field, and Evers has it for the out. That's not hit quite deep enough. Uh, two away, and here's Wally Moses. Moses, with that runner on at first, hits one deep to right field, and Words has to go back, back for that one, and he's able to grab that one right in front of the scoreboard for the out. And we have to put in a pinch hitter now. It is going to be or a relief pitcher. My apologies. It's going to be B Bill McCann. And uh, Bill McCann, uh, McCahan, um, uh, comes in and uh, faces Johnny Lipon. Lipon fouls one off and takes a strike. 0 oh, and 2 the count on him. There's a pop up foul. Still 0 oh, and 2 on uh, Lipon. There's a ball to him. And there's a ground ball over to Juiced. And he can't handle that one. That is through for a base hit. That'll bring up George Kell. Kell today, 1 for 3. 266 his average as opposed to 343 in real life. And he bunts that one over to McCann. Throws over to Nellie Fox covering at uh, first base for the out. One away. And here is uh, Neil Berry. Barry up there fouls one down the uh, left side. 0 and 1 the count. And 1 and 1 is that, that one just missed. The fastball in there for a strike is 1 and 2. And he struck Barry out looking. It wasn't much of a chance of that one. 2 away. And here's the pitcher, Art Hudeman. He will hit for himself. He's given up five runs, 11 hits. He's hitting for himself. And he hits a ground ball over to Nellie Fox, who uh, makes the play and throws the first for the out. We're going to the bottom of the eighth, and it's Ferris Fane. He hits a little fly ball over to Vic Wirtz in right field for the out. One away. Like I told you, these athletics love to swing at the first one. One away. Here's Sam Chapman. Sam takes the ball inside, 
And it fouls one back. One and one the count now on, Sa on Chapman. There's a ground ball over to the left side. It's Kell who has that one. Throws to first for the out. Two away. Nelly Fox up there now. And that ball is just fouled away. Oh and one the count on Fox. That is low. One and one the count. And that's hit over to right field. And Wirtz can't get there in time. That's hit number 12 for the Athletics. And that'll bring up Mike Guerrero with the runner on at first. Two, uh, two outs here in the bottom of the eighth, and uh, there's a bouncing ball uh, that gets past Lipon into uh, left field. Hit number 13 now for the uh, Tigers, and that'll bring up Bill McCann. And we have to pinch hit. In this situation, we have to pinch hit, and uh, it looks like it's going to be Pete Suter who comes in. If you've been watching these games, you know about Pete. He's been uh, pinch hitting a lot for these athletics. He gets a little ground ball over to Barry at uh, second base. He throws to first for the out, and uh, we go to the uh, top of the uh, ninth inning, and this is where it becomes a little bit tricky, right? Who are we going to put in? We don't want to put Kellner in. Yeah, we're going to put Phil uh, Marchilden in. Not very many pitchers here, by the way. Um, let me think here really quick. I think we're going to do this, actually. We're going to put Lou Brissy in. Unfortunately, Bubba Harris is not quite rested enough, so we're going to put Lou Brissy in here. Um, Brissy with the 1-4 uh, record, 3.64 ERA, faces Hoot Evers and gets a strike by him, and then a ball, 1-1 one one the count. There's a ball high, 2-1 and one the count now to Evers, and that's up, out and away. 3-1 and one is the count on him, and there's ball 4 over to Evers, and uh, that means the Tigers have a runner on at first base. Uh, nobody out, and here's Paul Campbell, top of the ninth inning. Campbell uh, sacrifices, bunts that one. Guerra, the catcher, grabs it and uh, throws over to Juice, covering the bag at second for the out. There's one away, and here's Vic Words. And uh, there's a little fly ball over to right field. Moses has that one for the out, two away, and it's uh, Aaron Robinson now. Robinson with a grand slam last time up that com completely changed the complexion of this ball game. 2-0 oh now the count on uh, Robinson. There's a change up in there for a strike. It's 2-1. and one. That's foul back. 2-2 two and two now the count on Aaron. And that's just in tight. Full count now on Aaron Robinson. And there's ball four called. I mean, of all the things that Lou could do, that's the last you want to see. And uh, there's a little uh, foul ball now by Johnny Groth. Runners on at first and second, two outs top of the ninth. And then a ball to him, one and one the count. And there's a uh, fly ball over to left field. Vallow just able to get there on time. And uh, we go to the bottom of the ninth inning. So the Athletics have had more than their share of uh, chances in this game. 13 hits compared to nine for the Tigers. No errors by either team. Eddie Juiced up there, takes the ball, 1-0 oh the count, and fouls off of fastballs. 1-1 one one now in Juice, sets a curve high, 2-1 and one the count. And there's one down the middle, first strike, 2-2. Two and two. Ground ball over to third base, Kell has it, throws to first for the out, one away. Elmer Vallo takes the ball high. Now the Athletics, if they don't win this game, they can't blame anybody but themselves. They have the heart of the order coming up here. 1-2 two, and two quickly is the count on Vallo as he fouled that one off, and there's one in the dirt, 2-2 two and two the count on him. That breaking ball just misses, and it's a full count. And there's one hammered over to third pace. Kell has that one. Throws to first for the out. Two away. Art Hudeman now. Art Hudeman. I'm sorry. Hank Majeski now. <laughs> Hits a ground ball over to Kell. Throws to first for the out. And that does it. Art Hudeman um, has thrown a complete game here. And that one ended somewhat anticlimactically. And that's the way that it goes. Six to five. The Tigers with the win. And uh, Detroit is really, really in the thick of this pennant race. And uh, this is getting more and more exciting as each day goes by in the American League. I will talk with you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.